this is one of the simplest songs out there from a chord progression point of view. But it is really fun to just play along with Neil and the band, Crazy Horse, and improvise solos over this three chord song. This is of course Cortez the Killer from his 1975 album Zuma. And uh, the best way to play the rhythm guitar part is in a double drop D tuning. But you can also play it in drop D or in standard and still get kind of the same effect. The best uh, tuning to use probably if you're just going to play the lead to it is standard tuning because what we're going to talk about in this lesson is using the pentatonic scale and adding in the couple of missing notes when it seems like a good time. This song is a perfect example for that because for a couple of reasons, but the biggest one is um, two of the three chords include one of the missing notes in the pentatonic scale. So that's a great time to work that note back in to your solo. And the other is the chords change very slowly. So it is a real simple strumming song that is just a blast to play along with. Uh, three chords, really E minor 7, D, and A minor 7, but the tuning, the double drop D, or even single drop D, will change some of the fingerings that you want to use for them. So we'll talk about those first in, or in, in, the, in the next segment. We'll talk about different ways of playing the chords. But you have those three chords, E minor 7, D. A lot of times you play the D as a suspended 2. You wouldn't necessarily want to hear the F sharp in the chord, but we do want to use the F sharp in the solo sometimes. And, um, and then the A minor 7. So kind of standard ways of fingering those chords. We'll get into those first, and then we'll talk about some of the things you can think about where, while you're improvising a solo over it. Cortez, coming up. The lesson on Cortez is kind of interesting because it's such a simple song, as you just saw in the, the in theory. But uh, the, I, I go on in, in further parts and talk about using, an ex using the pentatonic scale and adding in missing notes from the pentatonic scale when it seems appropriate for the chords that are happening right there. So it's really geared towards exploring and playing along with the, with the original, but doing something experimenting with lead playing at the same time as you're keeping keeping the rhythm going. So that's what the rest of that lesson goes into. It's available as part of the Target program and which has five or six hundred songs now and uh, or for individual uh, if you'd like to just join the Target Lite program, pick out a couple lessons a month. We also have a lot of free lessons so a lot of great resources at Totally Guitars. I hope you get a chance to come visit us and check out all the cool stuff we have.